Hey everyone, Leo with Dreaming Tree and welcome to the assembly video for our Sloth Corner Bookmark. A fun little project, this one especially I think you can uh, do with a child since it's mostly paper piecing. Very simple and um, a great little thing to include with the card from our latest bundle. If you're sending a child uh, a, a birthday card, maybe books are some of the gifts that they're getting and this will be a cool little thing to include. So very simple assembly here. Let's take a look at the main mechanism here. It's this. And now I know typically you're used to folding things so that the texture is on the outside. Um, this is gonna be the exception here. So as you're folding this, make sure you fold it so the majority of this is smooth. Uh, and that's, there's two, two reasons for it. One is because his little arm's dangling here and we wanted to keep that consistent with the rest of the sloth. And two, felt that this texture um, had an, more friction than the smooth side and it would maybe grasp the pages a little bit better. Okay, so again, fold it this way. You're gonna bring the tab in. We're gonna apply glue to the tab and we wanna make sure that we get that glue all the way out to the edge so everything looks nice and seamless, just like that. And then we're gonna take the other side and just pop it right on there. Now I used the solid score line version of this as should you that's going to ensure that this thing stays um, well, a little stronger over the lifespan of its life. And then that way, this thing's gonna be kind of pushed around a little bit, I guess you could say. Okay, so just make sure that you've got that glue all the way out to the edge, press that down, and it's gonna go on like this, all right? So we're actually gonna to put together the, this part here and then we'll glue everything together in one fell swoop. So we're gonna start off with the black layer and this latte color is gonna go on top. We use latte, you're welcome to use whatever you want. Uh, you wanna do some strategic inking here. I can't really tell that I inked too much, but it's there. You'll see the majority of the inking on the other pieces. I didn't think this part, this piece really required that much anyway. Uh, but since this one's really quick to cut out and really quick to assemble, you can have fun with maybe some embossing or adding some extra bling, whatever you want to do. So we're going to line this one up like so. Just match it up with the black shadow layer. Make sure everything is sitting as accurately as possible. Just do your best to get that nice and lined up. Press down. There we go. Okay. Just like that. And at this point, we can start building Mr. Sloth, and he's gonna go right here. So we're gonna start off with this layer. So let's apply some glue here. Now you'll notice that with this, we do need to put glue on the entire piece. All, every single inch of this little guy is gonna be making contact with the previous layer. And I'm pretty sure that goes for uh, the rest of the project here. So just business as usual. All right, so let's get that lined up nicely. Just follow that shadow behind it. There we go, perfect. Press that down. Had a little excess glue smear out there, that's okay. Just rub that off as you go, if you do get some. Looks good, okay, next, we're gonna build his little face. So we have this white piece, it's gonna go on this AC ash piece. And I don't think I did any inking on his white face. I wanted to keep that nice and pristine so we get some good contrast against this ash color. Okay, and just do your best to line that up. I'm looking at the nose and the mouth features to help me with the alignment. Just get that on there as nicely as you can. There we go, perfect. Press that down. And then you'll notice on this piece that there are a series of little score marks here, here, and here to help you with the placement of this piece. The majority of it is going to be flush with the bottom, but we wanted to make sure that you knew where to put it. So there were no questions. Okay, let's get that in place. And that's gonna go just like that. Get that nice and flush at the bottom. You should be able to kind of feel it with your fingers. Perfect. And of course, this little guy's taking a nap while you read your book. Okay, so that's gonna go right on there like that. So you can flip that around, apply your glue. 
get some on his little ears. Make sure that those are not going to get snagged on anything. Want them nice and flush. There we go. Perfect. Okay. And then finally, we can finish this off with our little leaf elements. This one, I ran through my embossing machine. I also inked these pretty heavily because they were kind of boring looking without the ink. I like to keep all my natural things looking as real as possible. Although, I mean, this is pretty, pretty graphic. And I don't mean like Friday the 13th graphic. I just mean uh, as far as the style goes. It's a pretty graphic version. And this one here, you can glue this one flat. You can even add a little pop dot if you want. I would probably keep everything flat um, just so that things don't get snagged while it's being put on or removed. And now this piece is not symmetrical. So you just want to make sure that you line it up correctly. The thicker part's going to be down at the bottom. There we go, like that. And then finally, we can take this whole thing and we're going to glue it to our little contraption here. And you just want to make sure that we get that aligned correctly. Okay, just like that. So we're going to apply glue. You can actually just put the glue on this piece here so we know exactly where it needs to go. And I'm going to make sure that I take this glue and pull it all the way out to the very edge of the top left and top right corners. So I'm going to go like that and then just pull that glue out just like that. Okay, and then we'll grab our little our cute little guy here and get that. Just use the leaves as your initial guide for placement like so. And then the rest of it should just magically fall into place. Kind of scooching around a little bit there, that's okay. And then what I'll do is I'll flip this over and push from the back side, making sure it's making really good contact, especially right at those, right at the seams there at the edge. Okay. There we go, and that's going to do it, okay? So let's take a look and make sure that it works. Got the kids a couple books for Easter. And let's take a look and see how cute he looks on there. There we go. Voila. And there he is, taking a nap, holding our little page in place. So that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please take a moment and visit us on our YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button. Also hit the little bell so you get notifications anytime we release a new product, whether it be paid or free. And if you make this or anything from our recent bundle, I'd love to see it and so would the rest of our community. So head over to your Facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree Official. That's where you'll find myself and over 40,000 other dreamers that inspire us daily. So happy reading. And as always, I look forward to crafting with you again. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos. And also, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where we have over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly videos. I look forward to crafting with you soon.